Despite a sublime bowling effort in the first two sessions, a spirited 10th wicket stand of 90 between Jack Leach and Saqib Mahmood frustrated the West Indies on day one of the third test at the Grenada National Stadium today. As Jerome Foster reports, the English recovered from 114 for nine to 204 all out. For the first time in the series, the West Indies won the toss and on a lively surface inserted the visitors in the Spice Isle after making one change with Kyle Mears replacing Verasami Pramal. Mears repaid the faith shown in his selection by removing Zach Crawley for seven at 23 for one. So often Kyle Mears does it. Two overs later, Mears was at the double by nipping out the big scalp of Joe Root for a duck. And he's got another. The English wobbled to lunch at 46 for three when Jaden Seals joined the party to dismiss Dan Lawrence for eight. Oh, that's gone. It got worse after the break with the pitch mirroring the name of the country as things got spicier. The wind is ripped through the heart of the English batting with the score moving from 53 for three to 67 for seven in 44 balls. Ben Stokes, Johnny Bearstow, Ben Fox, and Alex Lees for 31, all falling in that frantic period. Chris Wokes offered some resistance with 25 before falling two balls after T at 114 for nine and the Windies were rampant. However, in typical West Indies fashion, they failed to mop up the last pair, which frustrated them in a 90-run partnership. Number 10, Jack Leach, 41, and number 11, Saqib Mahmood, 49, the Architects, which ran the host ragged in the field for over two hours. With only two balls to go and the partnership well cemented, the host found joy from an unlikely source in Jermaine Blackwood. The English wrapped up at 204, and for the first time, numbers 10 and 11 top scoring in a test since 1885. The Windies, having won the toss, would take 204 at the start of the day, but would feel hard done by letting things slip after two perfect sessions. Jerome Foster, TVJ Sports.